What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This day I'm going to bring you my quick one week review of this is the base model 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro. I've had it around a week now. I've got stuff all over it already. Uh, I just kind of want to go through how this has replaced my desktop and my laptop and a little reason why I'm going to stick with this for the foreseeable future. Uh, so I'll kind of go through uh, the first experiences, uh, I generally was a Windows user before this, so a lot of this is new to me. Uh, but the first thing, build quality is, it's, you know, nothing new that MacBooks are one of the better built laptops out there. It's very solid. It's basically one machined aluminum piece of metal. Uh, it is a little chunky compared to what it was in the past. Hopefully this focuses on that. Uh, but the build quality on this is excellent. Uh, so... It definitely feels more premium than my ThinkPad did, which was a little bit more robust, probably a little bit more military grade, but overall felt and looked a little cheap and outdated. So that's definitely a big plus there, especially if you're spending, uh, this is a $2,500 laptop for the base model. Uh, 512 gigabyte hard drive or SSD, NVMe, uh, everything soldered onto this board, 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, I think it's a 10 core GPU, 16 core uh, or 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU. Um, so when it comes to ports, you have everything you need, minus I would like maybe one or two USB A, uh, but you got uh, MagSafe, USB A, uh, two on this side, headphone jack, you have one USB A on this side, SD card reader, which is really nice. I use that almost daily, so not having an SSD card reader is a big deal. And then you have one HDMI. Uh, port, which uh, I don't believe it's the what 2.1, which is the new standard. I think uh, I will never use that. I would have preferred to maybe get another USB A in there, and I'll kind of talk about that as I go. Um, so, the keyboard, mouse, trackpad, all that jazz, top notch. Uh, I actually really love this keyboard. Uh, previously, I had a ThinkPad, which is known to have really good keyboards, but this is really nice. Uh, it has a good tactile feel to it. Uh, it's a lot better than the butterfly keyboards that were previously on the systems. Uh, so that's good. Massive trackpad. Probably a little bit too big if you ask me, but uh, the trackpad and the overall touch inputs are really nice. Uh, when it comes to maintenance on this, there's none. You can't. You could probably open it if you want, but it's all soldered on there. You could clean out the fans uh, most likely, but that's probably about it. Uh, so that's kind of give you an idea of uh, the feel of it. It's very heavy, so it's probably one of the heavier laptops I had. My 15-inch ThinkPad uh, was fairly light for, for what it was, uh, mainly because it was uh, a magnesium alloy body or a chassis and then a bunch of plastic around it, so it felt a little bit lighter than this. It feels really, really solid in the hands. Um, so now we're just going to talk about the overall small things. Excellent speakers. Uh, it's really impressive uh, how many speakers, I think they have six speakers in here, it's really impressive just overall uh, sound and uh, how it feels. You have uh, forward firing speakers, I think you have some downwards one too, actually I'm not really sure, but the, it's the best laptop speakers out there by a long shot I would say. My ThinkPad speakers were awful uh, on my P, P1 Gen 2 and my X1 Yoga, they were really really bad. Uh, sounding speakers uh, maybe not bad but they were just average these are really really good um, display that's where uh, I'm gonna get into a big negative it's actually a positive the display on this is so good that my monitor which is a I think a $400 $350 4k fairly color accurate I think it's a PCI 95% uh, 3 or PCI 3 95% uh, so it is fairly color accurate this display is absolutely amazing. I would say it's the biggest upside and downside. Upside is uh, once you get used to this, 120 hertz, uh, it's adaptive, so it goes from 10 to 120 depending on what you're doing. So once you get used to this, going back to my actual display monitor here, it, it's really bad. It's really, it's shocking at how bad this, what I thought was an excellent 4K panel. Uh, it's an LG 32 inch. Uh, I used to think it was really good. It's not. Uh, so I use this most of the time and rarely actually hook it up to the actual um, monitor anymore for photo and video editing just because the monitor on this is so good. Uh, so that's that's probably the biggest thing I noticed. Uh, I didn't notice it when I first used it, but when I hooked back up to try to use it on my desktop, it was 
it, in the 60 hertz you really can tell once you fuse 120 hertz so my next monitor will probably be 144 hertz 4k if i can find one that i can afford that will probably be my next uh, step there uh, so let's get into performance the first performance number is battery life battery life on this thing is shocking so hopefully you can see this here uh, Currently, it says it's estimated for about 20 hours. That's pretty accurate. I went a whole week without charging this, and I was down to uh, about 40%. Uh, I edited one video in Premiere Pro, uh, and it was in C-Log, so it was a little bit more heavier on the workload. I probably edited maybe 100 photos on this. Also, a few Word documents playing around on the internet. Uh, I do use Chrome, so I uh, you know, keep that in mind, uh, but it is an amazing battery life easily 20 hours from my perspective 15 to 20 uh, it does have the 100 watt which is the max you can put in it legally and get on an airplane uh, so that's really a good good indication there of how this thing's going to uh, hold up for the longevity I even for photo and video editing it really didn't draw a lot of power didn't have any issues um, okay it comes to performance or photo and video editing it is, I would say, just as fast as my 10-core Intel, which is a 10850K. In photo editing, it's way faster. Uh, video editing, it's probably about the same line uh, when it comes to rendering. When it comes to actual playback, uh, it does have a media engine in it, so when it comes to actual just playback and scrubbing through your videos, it's really quick, quicker than my Intel desktop, uh, which is a beefier machine. Uh, but when it comes to rendering, it's about the same. This may be a tad bit slower in rendering, uh, just because uh, the desktop, I think, had a little bit more oomph to it when it comes to the rendering. Uh, but besides that, it is blazing fast. I don't think, unless you're doing some really, really pro-grade stuff, um, I mean, C-Log's pretty beefy, and I didn't have any issues editing C-Log with this, at least for the 10-minute footage I did. Uh, so I think if you're uh, looking into this, I have a home server, so I don't need more storage than 512. Uh, I would highly recommend the base model, as long as you're okay and have a storage solution at home. Uh, so some other minor things that I like. Uh, setting my server was actually really easy on this, way easier than Windows. It kind of just detected it once you entered your server and password. Uh, and it was pretty quick. It doesn't disconnect from them either, like it did on Windows, where I had to remap them uh, from time to time. So. Uh, that was a huge feature. Uh, the ecosystem's nice, and people talk about that, but uh, being able to get my messages on here, mainly just messages, and not have to worry about carrying my phone around all the time if I'm in the basement or in a different room from my phone, it's a really good feature. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I did buy Apple Care, so this was a pretty beefy investment, but I sold my desktop off already. Uh, my laptop's gone, so this is gonna be my one and only setup, and I really like having the power and portability of this thing. Yes, it is It is a little bit beefy, a little bit chunky, uh, but uh, it's still not, it's not an Alienware system where it's really got that heft to it. It's, it's slim, but also large at the same time. I don't know how to describe that without those two words. Um, so that's it. Um, I will get a long-term review of this app, one where I got more photos, videos of the actual laptop. This is a random video I did just in, in, in the time passing uh, but if you have any comments questions leave them below I'll try to get back to you I'm kind of redoing things back here so the colors and everything are probably all off uh, but I'm pretty happy with this and I'm coming from where I used to be a hardcore Windows person so uh, you know take that with what it is it did take me a little while to get used to Mac OS so I've been getting used to it there's some pluses and minuses to it I'm not going to go through that uh, but uh, it did take it did take a probably that full week to actually get used to Mac OS and kind of figure everything out. Uh, but that's it. Have a good rest of the day, weekend, happy New Year's, whatever it is out there. Hopefully, 2022 is better than 21. Uh, and I will see you guys next time.